here with the wonderful Desiree Akavan, who's here with her feature debut, Appropriate Behavior. Welcome back to Frameline. Thank you so much, happy to be here. It's such a pleasure to um, have had you here as a short filmmaker and now you're here with your feature debut. Um, tell, us, tell us a little bit of that journey. It's really intense because this was the first positive experience I had at a festival. I, I, I had been to one festival before this, I won't name names. Uh, don't do that, but uh, it was a really intense experience and um, I was part of a, a student shorts program and there were like nine before me, it lasted three hours and right before mine started the entire audience left and my mother was there and she kept screaming, she was like, it's not over! And uh, you know, every, most people left, like ten people were left and it was, it was just terrible, horrible. Everyone hated the film. All 10 of the people left over didn't like it. And uh, I spent the whole ride to the airport crying. And I was like, Mom, this is such a horrible pipe dream. Why would I ever want to make films? Like, this is masochistic. Like, why am I doing this? And then a few months later, I came to Frameline uh, with my co-director, Ingrid Youngerman. And we were both so taken away. It was so beautiful. It was, everyone was so supportive and kind to us. And we weren't treated, sometimes as uh, short filmmakers, you're truly really treated like second class citizens at some festivals. <laughs> like, get out of the way for Jonathan Demi. Well, Jonathan Demi's lovely, by the way. He's like one of the greatest men in the world. Uh, I'm just on the tip of my tongue. Uh, let's cut that out. <laughs> Keep rolling. But uh, I, was, I was so excited. I saw such inspiring films and I... One thing that was amazing too is that people show up for this festival. Like I was here for maybe for two weeks or 10 days and we got recognized afterwards with one short in a one program that screened once uh, and that really blew me away, how kind and uh, responsive people were in San Francisco. So um, you've been getting a lot of buzz on the circuit as a, a wonderful, you know, full throttle, triple threat. Tell us a bit about your creative process and how um, you approach to appropriate behavior. It's, it's a very irreverent comedy. It um, brings in so many different intersections around identity. And, and I'm curious if you could tell us a little bit about your process. Yeah, I just really wanted to examine the different things that I had been dealing with. And I found that a lot of coming out stories or stories of Middle Eastern women were very they told one very specific story, uh, and I saw many of them doing that again and again and again. And I didn't relate to it at all. Uh, I always felt like a weirdo, an outsider, and that the way my sense of humor was very strange and the way I see the world is strange, and I just thought, fuck it, let's embrace it and do something kind of crazy and make a film that speaks to my experience. I'm curious, what have been some of your um, influences both in terms of personally and also what are your comedic influences? Who makes you laugh? Yeah, Louis C.K. makes me laugh. The show Louis, just, I love it so deeply. Uh, Film-wise, Noah Baumbach's work really touches me. Uh, I'm trying to think. I really love uh, the film Fat Girl. That's one that influenced my life a lot. And you know, it's, it's an oldie but goodie. Uh, Muriel's Wedding really touched me. <laughs> That's a film that spoke to me on such a deep level when I was young and like I was so lucky to see it at an early age. It was like always playing on TBS, you know, like at some point in the day you will find that film playing. Maybe not anymore now that they're doing more original programming, but at the time they, they really loved to regurgitate that one. And that film about such a loser weirdo with no friends was the film that told my story. Uh, someone with no redeeming factors. Uh, and that, that film made me want to start making movies and it made me laugh hard. Um, I'm curious, what do you hope audiences take away from appropriate behavior? I hope that they laugh and enjoy themselves and take away that there's more than one narrative for coming out for people of color, for uh, young women right now. There are just so many different perspectives, and I'm excited to represent one of them. Um, tell us a, li a little bit how you got funding for the film. What what was really helpful to you? So funding came from several different for uh, funding came from several different sources. I said forces like it was Star Wars or something. Let me try that again. I think you should use all of this. I don't know. I'm giving you go. I'm making it rain. Good comments. <laughs> So the funding for the film came together from different sources. I worked with Parkville Pictures, uh, a production company in the UK, and they raised a bulk of the financing through private equity in the UK. Uh, but what 
was the real challenge was finishing the film and getting past the hurdle of, you know, we had our first cut, but how do we have a completed film? And that's actually where the Frameline Completion Fund came into play. And we applied and we're very lucky to receive a grant from Frameline. And if it weren't for programs like that, our film wouldn't have been able to go that extra last mile. And I'm going to ask you an inappropriate question. Um, who's your top celebrity threesome? My top celebrity. That's the first time. I'm really excited. I I got a question I've never had You're before. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Celebrity threesome. So everyone has to be all right. You know what? I'm gonna go with the panel from yesterday and just say that Guinevere Turner, Rose Troche, and Kim Pierce. That is my top celebrity threesome. That would be a quad, including you. So. Oh, sorry. I just watch. In this in this scenario, oh. I am on a I'm perched up watching <laughs> and taking photos. Um, it's such an honor to have you back. Thank you, um, thank you for making us laugh. Thank you for your 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 um, your just being you and um, sharing your your vision and your voice with our audience. Thank you for having me and for bringing this audience together. Is this is for sound? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that like in all of these you'd be like <laughs> Yeah. You know there's like a slow clap. Yeah. <laughs> you were just like <laughs>